Hello friends, in this video, we will learn the working of a NAND gate implemented by using diodes and transistors and then we will implement it on breadboard. This is the circuit diagram of a NAND gate using three diodes and one transistor and some resistors. So from the two treble, we can see when we apply zero at terminal A and zero at terminal B. So in this case, we can see these two diodes are in forward bias because the positive side of the diode is connected to the positive terminal of the battery. And we have applied zero at the negative terminal. So this side, that means positive side of the diodes have higher potential than the negative side of the diodes. So current coming from this path will flow through these diodes. So there will be no current flowing through this diode in this case. That's why the transistor, the base of the transistor will not get voltage. That's why this transistor will act as a open switch. That means it will not allow to flow current from its collector terminal to emitter terminal. This is the collector. This is the emitter. So this will be act as a closed switch, sorry, open switch and the entire current entire current coming through this resistor will flow through this output LED. So we will get one at the output. Now you may ask question why current will not flow through this diode because this diode is also in forward bias because positive terminal is connected to the positive side of this diode. But in this case, we have to observe the entire path. We can see this part here from starting from here through this 100K resistor through this diode and through this transistor. So internal resistance of this transistor and plus this diode is more than the internal resistance of the this diode or of this diode. So since current always flow through the path where resistance is low, that's why current will flow only through this diode, not through these diodes and transistors. Now let us observe for the second set of input. In this case, A is 0. If we apply 0 here, then this diode will be in forward bias. So current will flow through this. And if B is 1, 1 means in this case, this is the negative side and we have applied posit uh, positive voltage here. So this will be in reverse bias. So this will not conduct in this case. So current cannot flow through this diode. But the uh, current will flow through this diode and in this case also the transistor will not get voltage in its base terminal since there is no base voltage so this transistor will act as a open switch in this case also so the entire current flowing through this 1k resistor will flow through this output led and we will get one at the output so, similarly for the third set of input if a is one then this diode will be in reverse bias so this will not conduct but in this case b is zero so the, the second diode will allow to flow current so the transistor will not get required current in its base terminal so this will be in again in open switch so that's why the entire current flowing through this 1k resistor will flow through this output resistance resistor and we will get one at the output but for the last set of input we can see if A is 1, then this will be in reverse bias. If B is 1, this will also be in reverse bias. So no current can flow through these diodes. So these diodes will not be there. Suppose there is no these diodes. So then the entire current will flow through this branch, through this path. So the transistor will get sufficient voltage in its base terminal. So the transistor allow to flow current from its collector to emitter terminal since this side is collector and this side is emitter. So the entire current will flow through this collector to emitter that is across this transistor and no current will flow through this LED in this case. So the output will be zero when we apply one at A and one at B. Now we will implement it on the breadboard. To implement this circuit on breadboard, we need a breadboard. Then we need three diodes. We are using one and four zero zero seven diodes. 
then 100k resistor this one then 11k resistor one npn transistor here i am using bc547 you can use other types of npn transistor bc548 bc549 then we need an output led we are using here 5 mm led you can use 10 mm or 3 mm led and some connecting wires and a 9 volt battery when we observe the diodes closely then we can see there is a silver coated side and the other side is black black so this silver coated side is negative that means this terminal is negative terminal and the black coated side is positive terminal that means this terminal is positive terminal first we will insert these two small wires one red wire here and another black wire here and we will use this entire row from here to here as vc0 and we will use this entire row as ground row we will connect the negative terminal of the battery here and we will connect the positive terminal of the battery to this row then we will insert these diodes we will keep the positive side to our to the right side that means this side so here is the negative side and here is the positive side as shown in the diagram so that it will be easy to understand okay we have inserted the this one so this terminal will act as terminal a then we will insert the second one so we from here we can see the positive terminal of the first diode is connected to the positive terminal of the second diode. so we will insert into in the same column so that these are internally connected then we will connect the other terminal to any point of breadboard then from that point the positive terminal of the third diode is connected so we will connect the third diode here and this is the positive side and this is the negative side this is the negative side that is silver color side and we will connect it here so from the negative side of the diode negative terminal of the diode the base of the transistor is connected here is our transistor yeah if we keep this transistor like this then we can see here is the front side then the leftmost terminal is collector the middle one is base and the rightmost terminal is emitter so we will insert this tra tra transistor like this so that this space is internally connected to this negative terminal of the diode then from this diagram we can see the emitter terminal is grounded so we will connect a wire from any point of this column then we will connect it to our vcc row that we sorry our ground row that we have considered then from this point from this point that means this point from this point a 100k resistor is connected so we will connect any terminal of the resistor to this point and we will connect the other terminal to plus 9 volt that is the vcc row that we have considered now from the vcc row again 1k resistor is connected one 1k resistor is connected so we will connect this resistor for from any point of our vcc row and from that the other terminal is connected to the collector terminal of our transistor so we will connect it to this point now we have to connect our output led from the collector terminal of the transistor so we will use a small wire from our collector terminal from any point of our collector coulomb and other point we will so we will use a long wire from here to any point of this breadboard we will connect it here and from this point we have to connect the positive terminal of our led that means the longer terminal we will connect it then other terminal we have to connect it to ground row now we will connect our positive and negative terminal of the battery we have to connect the positive terminal to our vcc row that we have considered and negative terminal to our ground row now our circuit is ready now we will observe the output
now this terminal will be terminal a and this terminal will act as terminal b now from this truth table we can see when a is zero zero means we have to connect this terminal to our ground row and when b is zero b is also zero so we have to connect terminal b also to zero in this case the output should be one that's why the led is now on now for the second set of input when a is zero it is already connected to zero that is connected to ground and b is one one means we have to connect this terminal b to our vc zero here one means vcc in this case also the led is on that is why the, the output is since the output is one for the third case when a is one one means we have to connect it to our vc zero and b is zero zero means we have to connect this wire to our vc zero uh, sorry to our ground row that means it is zero in this case also the output is one now for the last set of input that we can see when a is one it is already connected to vcc and b is one we have to connect this terminal b also to our vc zero in this case we can see the output is zero the output is also the output is zero so in this case the output is zero that's why the led is now off so the truth table is verified that means this circuit is working so thank you for watching this video you can also buy electronics components projects from our website www.dpvtechnology.com and if you like this video then please don't forget to subscribe to our channel thank you